Hello and welcome to the first of how to videos by Serpents. Uh, these are meant to be training videos for newcomers to Project Reality 1.3 standalone where you don't need Battlefield 2 at all. These are the chapters of the video. You can skip to particular chapter by simply clicking on it. I've decided to make these into several videos. Uh, the first video we'll discuss today will be the basic user interface, what you can see on your screen, how can it help you, uh, what you can do with it. So let's get started. When you connect to the server, this is the first thing you will see. Uh, you will see the teams, USMC Russia, you will see the squad picking table and the kicked picking table and the spawn point picking map. Now what you need to do, first you should pick your team you want to play for, uh, of course so keep an eye on the number of players because you might not be able to get to your team when uh, there is a higher number of players than on your team. Now uh, when you want to start you should go ahead and pick a squad right away, there might be several squads here from 1 to 9 and uh, they will be named uh, differently infantry tank CAS APC basically they will be named after the role they do you might even start your own squad you may uh, do it by creating one warning read several rules and make sure you create a squad after the time given or uh, you even can create your custom squad by writing something, let's say INF, that stands for infantry and apply, uh, you'll get this name and uh, you can squad lead, you also can lock your squad. Uh, when you are the squad lead, uh, you can actually manage your squad, you can kick people, this will be uh, people in your squad and uh, you can kick them or you can invite other people from the team. When you check the map, all people in your squad will be green. Now you can apply for a commander, if you apply for a commander you have to wait a few seconds and after that there should be a message popping up down in the left corner, uh, you have applied to command the USMC and after you actually get it, this message will pop up, you have been accepted as a commander of the USMC, press page up or page down uh, to accept it or reject it, so if you press page up you'll get the commander and you can enter the UAV. For our purpose we'll need only one squad. So let's get started. When you are in the squad go ahead to kit menu and pick your kit. Please read the manual. You cannot pick any kit you want right away. You need a certain number of soldiers in your squad in order to be able to pick some kits. However, you can pick riflemen right away. Now, when you have your kit selected, go ahead and select your spawn point simply by clicking the left mouse button. You should select the closest spawn point to your squad so you don't have to run too far. Let's say you need to find your squad on your map. So you can do this by doing three things. The first thing is press M and a map will pop up. Basically this is a single map, you cannot place markers, you can do anything, you just see yourself on it. And if you press N and press N once again, it will zoom onto your location and you can see yourself on the map. From 1.3 players have cone on the map, so it can help them orientate on the map where they're looking at. Also on this map you can see vehicles, uh, these are only friendly vehicles. If you see 75 meters you can say that this map is 1 kilometer by 1 kilometer. If you see 150 you will know that it is 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers and if you see 300 it will be 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers. So pick your spawn point and press done and you will spawn. What you can see right away 
without clicking anything. On the top left corner you will see messages coming from the server or admin messages. If you are warned you will see a message there as well. On the bottom you can see your compass which actually turns with you. That means if somebody screams contact north you should find your compass down on the bottom of your screen, find north and look that way you'll probably see an enemy. But in the bottom right corner you can see a small one and eight. This small one stands for the fire mode you have selected. Now I have semi-auto which will fire only one shot. Then you can switch it to number three which is the burst fire mode and you can switch it by pressing number three on your keyboard. This will fire three shots or a burst. Then the letter A indicates the automatic firing mode. Number eight indicates the number of magazines you have with you. Obviously if you shoot, reload, you will lose one magazine. This magazine is dropped on the ground and you cannot pick it back. You can resupply these on ammo crates, ammo boxes or ammo bags. On the right bottom corner above your number eight you will see a small sign, ammo sign, which indicates that you are getting resupplied. You can also see a repair sign, this indicates that you are getting repaired. Another way how you can open the, your map is by pressing enter. If you press enter your kit menu will pop up automatically and you will see the spawn points. You also see your map. You cannot zoom in this map but you can pick a spawn point. What else can you see on this map? You can see suicide button and mutiny button. Suicide button is used when you get stuck somewhere in a texture and you can't move, nobody is there to help you out, you have no ropes and uh, well you have no grenade so you can't kill yourself so you can suicide. Mutiny button is there for squad leaders uh, if they don't trust the commander if they don't like the commander or commander doesn't have any might, you might mutiny him and it will start the vote about resigning the commander. Another way to open the map is by pressing caps lock. If you press caps lock your squad menu will pop up automatically. Here you can zoom the map by pressing N again. If you issue orders you should right click on your mouse and just left click on what you want. However, this can be only done by squad leaders. After setting a mark, uh, you can actually see on your compass a little triangle. Now it is 30 plus 2, let's say. This triangle shows you which way you should run to get to the marker. As a squad leader, you can also lock your squad so no other players can join. However, watch out because some servers have the rule that you can lock your squad only if you have a certain number of people in your squad and this is usually six. On this map squad leader can also see the range. If you look closely you can see the range 50 on the bottom of your screen on the bottom of your map. This will actually show the range to that target. As you can see I changed my target it changed to 600. Now if you change it here it will be 50 meters. This can be only seen by squad leaders. When talking about vehicles and assets, as you can see on this map we can only see the friendly vehicles, which is quite obvious. We cannot see the Russian ones which are over there. Now if you open up your menu, you should see this tiny line in here with a triangle next to it. If you click the triangle, this table will pop up and it will show you how many vehicles which side has. Of course, the friendly vehicles will have the spawn times and the enemy vehicles will not. In PR, we usually don't care how many kills or deaths you have. Uh, the teamwork is what counts. But if you need to know how many kills or deaths you have, you can check it by pressing tab, right clicking your mouse and you will be able to move with your mouse on the screen. We have two last things to explain. You can press Q and you can actually say something. Uh, this is a pre-record message and um, watch out because enemies can hear this. So if you say go go go, fall back, 
uh, they will actually hear it. As a squad leader, you can press T and you can issue orders by clicking on any of these. If you have any button as such, this indicates that if you left click with your mouse, uh, you will place a target. If you right click, you will place an observe marker. You can also request or drop your kit. If you want to drop your kit, uh, you have to go T, right click and press G and you will drop your kit. To get it back, press G again. If you press T again and you want to request a kit, you have to left click and you can request your kit again by left clicking. As a squad leader, you can place a rally point by simply left clicking this. Uh, what you need to do it, you will need two members of your squad next to you and no enemies around. So it should be clear. Thank you very much guys for watching this video, it is much appreciated. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. If you like this, like the video or subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.